Hello everyone, my name is Kumar Aditya and in this video I will try to explain the basic principle of volt second balance. So volt second balance states that for periodic current, for periodic current average voltage across inductor is zero. That is volt second over a time period T equals zero. Now this is the statement of this volt second balance and let's visualize this statement in LT spy simulation. So I have this a small circuit, I have a current source I1 generating a periodic current through this inductor and we will plot the voltage across the inductor and we will see whether its average is zero or not as per this statement. So if I run the simulation, I will plot the current on the top plot and I will plot the voltage across the inductor on the bottom plot. So this blue trace is the current waveform and you can see this is periodic in nature. So periodic waveform always return to its initial value at the end of its time period, right? So this is the time period of this waveform, 2 millisecond and it is repeating with the same pattern throughout its runtime. Now this is the voltage across the inductor and let's see whether its average is 0 or not. So if I take the average of this waveform, it is 30 microvolt, very close to zero. So it's not perfect zero because this is a spy simulation and this uh, uh, component have some, some non-idealities. So there is certain deviation, but nevertheless, this is very, very close to zero and it is indeed following this statement. And this is not just valid for this particular triangular wave shape, this is valid for uh, any wave shape, any periodic current waveform. So I have this second circuit here. So this I2 is generating a sinusoidal current waveform and let's see the voltage across the inductor. So this blue curve is the voltage across the inductor due to this uh, green current waveform and if I take the average, it's minus 5 microvolt, again very close to 0. So in that this spice, we see that this uh, statement is being followed. That is, if the current flowing through the inductor is periodic, then average voltage across the inductor is zero. Now, why it is important? What is the what is so special about this volt second balance? Why it should uh, uh, be why it is important to follow a volt second balance principle? So, another way of interpreting this sentence is: if the average voltage across an inductor is not zero, then the current through the inductor will be not periodic in nature. So if current is not periodic that is that means that it is not returning to its initial value that is uh, that means that it is either it will either keep increasing up or it will keep decreasing down or it will have some random wave shape. Now I have created this sub third circuit which purposely violates the volt second balance principle. I have a voltage source which I am applying to this inductor L2 and this voltage source is generating a uh, periodic voltage uh, whose average is not zero. So let me plot that. So on top plot this red curve is the voltage generated by this voltage source V1 and it has an average of 2 volts. So average voltage across inductor is not zero. Now let's see the current through the inductor. See this current is not periodic in nature, it is ramping up. So eventually if this such kind of voltage uh, is allowed to uh, be applied across the inductor, then this current will keep rising and keep rising and eventually this inductor will get damaged. Inductor is just a wire right? and uh, it has certain ampacity, it cannot carry infinite amount of current. So it is very important that when you design a DC to DC converter or any switch mode power supply uh, in a steady state average voltage across the inductor should be zero otherwise current will keep ramping up or ramping down. In this example uh, this uh, average is positive average uh, voltage is positive so its uh, current is ramping with positive slope if the average voltage is uh, negative then current will ramp down with negative slope. See, so I have made the average voltage negative minus 2 volts, so current is ramping down. 
so i hope you get an idea why it is important to maintain volt second balance now i have this la last circuit fourth circuit so this is a special case and let's see what it says so i have this current source which is generating a periodic current waveform let me plot the current so this blue curve is the current generated by this current source this is periodic in nature because uh, at the start of the period the current value is 0 amp and at the end of the period current value is again 0 amp and it is repeating with the same pattern so this being one time period of 2 millisecond now this is a periodic waveform so uh, this inductor uh, and so this circuit must be following the volt second balance principle right so let's see what is the voltage across the inductor if such current is flowing you see the voltage is of this impulse kind of response i am getting during each uh, current transition and this uh, peak voltage is going as high as 20 megavolt now this is following the volt second balance principle because current is periodic and looking by the wave shape you can say that the average of this wave shape is zero if somehow we manage to calculate the average it will be zero because you can see this area will cancel this area this area will cancel this area but certainly this is not good for the circuit because voltage across the inductor is such a high value it will get damaged circuit your circuit will get uh, destroyed moreover it's not even possible to generate such a high voltage because if mega 20 mega volt and higher that means your power supply should support such high amount of power given that circuit is closed and current is flowing so this is certainly not good and why it is happening we can understand using the this mathematical expression so we know voltage across inductor is given by vl di upon d right inductance time rate of change of current now here if you observe this is the instant at which current is changing this is the instant at which current is changing and this instant is almost close to zero right current is going from 4 amps to zero almost instantaneously it going from 4 amps to zero almost instantaneously so v is equal to l d i by dt dt is approximately zero now your denominator is zero so voltage will be approximately very very high right and this is what is happening during each transition so when current is going from 4 amp to 0 amp i have this sharp voltage rise across the inductor when current is going from 0 to 4 amp i have this sharp voltage rise across the inductor during this interval current is not changing so uh, ldi by dt is 0 and voltage is 0 similarly here current is not changing so voltage is 0 so it's not just important to maintain volt second balance it is also important that current flowing through the inductor should not have any instantaneous change in its value so if there is certain intent is such instantaneous change is there in the current if there is such kind of discontinuity then average voltage across the uh, inductor not average sorry the instantaneous voltage across the inductor will be very very high and your inductor will eventually get damaged. So in this video, we learned two important things. One is, it is very important to maintain volt second balance in design of any DC to DC converter. Why it is important? Because if you violate volt second balance principle, current through the inductor will keep rising. Second thing, we, start, we learned that it's not only important to have a periodic current, but it is also important to make sure that that periodic current uh, does not have any, uh, any sharp discontinuity. That it, there should not be inst any instantaneous change in the current flowing through an inductor. If the current th flowing through an inductor change instantaneously, then the uh, voltage across the instantaneous voltage across the inductor will be very high and which is obviously will lead to catastrophic failure of your circuit so i hope you get uh, the idea of what is volt second balance is 
and uh, why it is important to hold to maintain a volt second balance next video i will show the application of volt second balance uh, using a buck converter example so see you in next video bye bye